This is video four. So we just finished off our timing aspect within the cat. So this controls a lot of the timing with the entire game. And what I want to do now is work on the scoring component of the game. And let's go to our mouse first. And what we want to do, I'm going to move this a little bit. We're going to bring out another event block. So we do want this to be initiated as soon as the green flag is clicked and what I want to have happen is we can have these characters or sprites interact with each other and so that if we can tell if the mouse touches the cat then we want to give ourselves a positive point so let's grab another if statement so if the mouse is touching the cat then add a point and also if the if the characters touch each other we want that character to disappear right so um, because what will happen is if you don't do that then they'll just sit on top of each other and you'll accumulate points Oops, switch that back to the other character let's go to mouse again and we are going to grab an if statement. So this is a condition. So if then, right? Um, if you do this, then you get that. It's a condition. If and let's go to sensing. So touching is a sensory piece of code that we can use. So if touching the sprite one and I know that it's Sprite 1 because I look at the cat and the cat is named Sprite 1. So if the mouse is touching Sprite 1, then we want to change the score by positive 1. So it's already written in there. And then we want the character that, to then hide. So after it gets after it's touched by the main character, then that character should go ahead and hide. And we want this to be going on for the entire game, so let's use a forever block. And then let's attach that to our green flag, and we can, let's see if this starts to work. Uh, so I did touch the mouse right there, boom, two points, three, Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it is working. So as we're in, and definitely um, try that on your game to make sure that this is working properly. So again, our time is still going down. Our score is working as the two characters interact with each other, and. The other thing that we want to have happen that's based on the timing that I talked about in the previous video is we want the the mouse and everything else to sort of disappear and go away as the game ends because we don't want the gamer to be accumulating points once the timer hits zero. So let's go to... Um, we want the receive. So when I receive game over, right? So in here, the cat is broadcasting a game over when the time hits zero, and then the mouse is going to receive that message, and when the mouse receives that message, we want the mouse to hide and <clears throat> stop all scripts. Um, that is right here. So stop all other scripts in Sprite, so we want the mouse to just stop showing up and um, being a part of the game. The other thing that we do want to have happen is, and we can put this in one of the characters, so we're just going to put this in the mouse for now. Let's go to events when the green flag <coughs> clicked. Let's set the score to zero. And Okay, what should happen then, so you can, I would try this if I were you, I'm not going to do this for the entire video, 
but as you're going see if you accumulate points by hitting the mouse and then once this gets to zero the the mouse should go away the ghoul is probably not going to go away because we have not put that code into the ghoul yet okay so i'm going to stop right there but what we can do is we can add a very very similar code to the ghoul so again let's uh, copy some of this so i'm going to copy this code click and drag it into the ghoul and then i want to click i want this to be in the ghoul as well and kind of stacks on top of each other so let's just organize everything okay cool so we have the ghoul and we also want the ghoul interacting with the cat as well but the difference is is that we want the ghoul to subtract points so for right now let's just do minus one so I all that's all you really have to do is now when the ghoul interacts with the cat it subtracts a point right because the ghoul is not something that we want to be hitting and let's try to give this a shot also it is receiving the game over and hiding and stopping all scripts at the end so let's move through minus one, positive one, minus one, minus one, good, positive one back to zero, minus one, all right, it looks like everything's working properly, perfect, I will stop right there.